problem number 57, we want to find dy dx for y is equal to x over x plus 1 raised to the fifth power. Okay, so uh, what I see here is immediately I see that I have something raised to the fifth power. Now, the something this time is a fraction. I don't care. All I see when I look at this problem is it's something raised to the fifth. And I know how to take the derivative of something raised to the fifth. It's five somethings to the fourth. So I'll start that way. So if I have something raised to the fifth, the derivative is five of those things, which in this case is x over x plus one to the fourth. Okay, so I've taken the derivative of something to the fifth. Now I need to multiply by the derivative of what's on the inside. So I need to multiply by the derivative of this x over x plus 1. But now this is a totally different thing. This no longer requires any chain rule. This is a quotient. And so to take the derivative of a quotient, I need to use the quotient rule. And the quotient rule tells me I should multiply by right down the bottom first, x plus 1, times the derivative of what's on top. The derivative of x is 1, minus the top, which is x, times the derivative of the bottom, but the derivative of x plus 1 is 1, times 1, all over the bottom, x plus 1, quantity squared. So to take this derivative, I started by seeing that I have something to the fifth, and the derivative of something to the fifth is 5 something to the 4th. Then I need to multiply by the derivative of what's on the inside, or the derivative of the something, which in this case is x over x plus 1, and here's the derivative. Now, could I clean this up a little bit and make it look pretty? Uh, yes, I could. This would be an x minus x, so the top would just be 1. Uh, and the bottom would be an x plus 1 squared. So I could certainly simplify this derivative and make it look a lot cleaner, but this is the derivative, uh, and I use it by using both the chain rule and a quotient.